Dennis. How are you? Today is December. Uh, what is it? <laughs> Sorry. It's December 5th. It's a Thursday here. It's like 11 p.m. I just got back from watching uh, Macbeth, the play. It was three hours. Um, Ethan Hawke starred in it. And uh, honestly, I was like, are they speaking Spanish? <laughs> it was so difficult. No, it wasn't difficult. Yeah, it was. Vincent was your pistol like, so this is when Macbeth is going to kill blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh. And then in the middle, like during intermission, I read what it was actually about. And I was like, oh, I get it. But definitely during the first half, I was like, yawn. Anyway, I feel cultured, so I guess that's a good thing. So today's message is from Philippians four, chapter 4, verses 4 to 13. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition, petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice, and the God of peace will be with you. I rejoice greatly in the Lord that at last you renewed your concern for me. Indeed, you were concerned, but you had no opportunity to show it. I am not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Today's message is titled, Get Your Wanter Fixed. When my wife was a young girl in Austin, Texas, Carlisle Marnie was her family's neighbor, pastor, and friend. One of his offhand remarks about being content became one of her family's enduring expressions. Dr. Marnie says, we just need to get our wanter fixed. It's so easy to want more than we need and to become more focused on getting than on giving. Soon our desires dictate our choices. When the Apostle Paul wrote to the followers of Jesus in the city of Philippi, he told them, I have learned in whatever state I am to be content. I have learned both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. Paul was saying, in effect, I've had my wanter fixed. It's important to note that Paul was not born with contentment. He learned it in the difficult circumstances of everyday living. During this, year, during this season of the year when shopping and buying often take center stage in so many countries and cultures, why don't we decide to be focused on being satisfied in our present circumstances? It may sound difficult, but Paul, when talking about learning to be content, said, I can do all things through Christ who helps me. I will repeat that. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Help us, Lord, to learn contentment when life is rough. Protect us from believing the lie that having more will bring us happiness. May we be content with what you have given. Contentment begins with having fewer wants. Amen. All right, Jan, I think those are really key messages that you, Janice, can do all things through Christ who strengthens you that you can learn to be full and hungry, that you can both abound and suffer. I love you, Janice. I miss you so much. I'm very proud of you. You're getting better every day. That was Vincent. <laughs>
I love you. Good night.